Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in for yet another video. And as you can see, a little something different about me. I don't have my glasses on, which I normally always have my glasses on during my videos, but I broke my glasses. So they just went snappo. So I got my contacts in so I can see. <laughs> For today's video, I'll be doing a one and done wash and go using a product from Lotta Body. The only thing that I can say I've honestly ever used from Lotta Body was their setting lotion. And that was just from coming up as a kid when I used to wear rollers and get up under the hair dryer. But other than that, I honestly have never tried any other Lotta Body products. So I was in the hair store, just looking around, browsing, you know, I'm a product junkie. So I ran across a particular product from Lotta Body and it was new and it looked very intriguing. So I picked it up and let me show you what I got. So the item I got is new from Lotta Body, which is their Lotta Body with Coconut and Shea Oils Twist Me Curl Styling Pudding. The claims of this product states it defines curls, adds moisture and shine, creates soft crunch free curls for natural hair. It also states this product is deeply penetrating, leaving your hair soft and hydrated and nourished with brilliant shine. This product is great for twisting, shingling, coiling and washing goes. And it's also perfect for color treated hair. This is so spot on pudding, consistency, the texture, the color of it even. Like if you were to play a practical joke on somebody and put this in a cup and tell them it's um, the um, banana pudding that you get in the store in the little cups, you couldn't tell the difference. It looks just like pudding. It looks just like banana pudding. Look at that consistency. It jiggles like pudding. It feels really great. Um, this product feels like it has a lot of moisture in it for sure. It's kind of thick. It's very creamy. feels really good. It smells really good too. It doesn't smell like banana pudding, so get that out your mind. But it does have a, a light fragrance to it. It's, it's pleasant. So my hair is freshly washed for this wash and go. I always like to start my hair out on a clean slate, nice and clean. My scalp, my hair, everything nice and squeaky clean. And I always like to make sure that I have a barrier of some kind on my hair, such as an oil or leave-in conditioner. So that way the gel that I'm using does not dry my hair out. Even though it may not have alcohols and things of that nature, my hair can still easily dry out if I don't have some type of a leave-in moisturizer or a leave-in um, conditioner of some sort. So I'm really excited about using this product. I think I'm going to get some really great results in terms of a wash and go. I think I'm going to get some nice definition. So aside from using this pudding, the only other things that you'll see, the only other things that you'll see me use in this video will be my tangle teaser for clumping my curls and extra definement and also my water bottle. Warm water, mind you, low porosity, warm water equals your friend. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try, see how it does, see how it holds up in my hair. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have completed my one product styling wash and go and I really like the results but the product gets very thick as you're putting it and applying it on your hair so I had to keep applying water just to you know soften it back up but it's it's pretty thick it doesn't look thick because it's got like this jiggly jiggliness to it but once you start applying it on your hair especially if your hair doesn't have that much water or moisture already on it 
yeah you're gonna you're gonna be putting some water in your hair because it does thicken up but overall i do really like the outcome i love the curl definition that i have it's definitely not gonna dry with any type of crunch at, at all the shrinkage is still real you know it says non-shrinkage to be quite honest i don't know if there's any product that's going to help elongate my hair i would have to put heat to my hair to stretch out my hair do some type of stretching method to get it to stretch but there's no gel there's no cream there's no custard or souffle that's going to elongate or keep my hair from shrinking it's just gonna it's just gonna shrink it is what it is after i apply this product to my hair and even during applying this product to my hair i just realized one i'm in need of a bad trim i need a trim so bad really and two i want to color my hair so bad because that my hair color is so dull it's it's like this dusty brown really it's like this dusty brown color it, it just makes my hair look so dull like it doesn't have any shine never has shine because of the color of my hair and for this summer like i really want some color in my hair like really really bad so let me show you the color that i want to go for and i know this is going to be like so hard on my hair because i know it's a lot of bleaching involved i, I know and i know it's going to probably change my curl pattern and, and stretch out my curls but let me just show you the color that I want to go for. So I saw this picture on Instagram. It was in somebody's Insta story. I forgot what company it was. But this girl was getting her hair, um, of course, her roots <laughs> redone. But this is the color I'm going for. It's like all kinds of blondes going on. But I just want something bold. I want something colorful. I just want something that looks very summery. And that's another picture of the front of her hair once it was, once it was done. So after looking at her hair color and looking at mine, I just want something that's just more representative of my character and just my personality. Like it's very bubbly and colorful and, and all those things, but this hair color is just, uh, I, I just got to do something with it. But I'm dragging my feet on it because of the damage, you know, that I might get and then having to upkeep with the color and just more extra care because it's color so it's just a lot you know it's just something i've been thinking about for a very very long time so you guys tell me in the comments should i go for some color should i just go bold and just go straight color or just leave well enough alone and save myself some headaches so just let me know in the comments below so once it's fully dry i'm just going to finish picking the rest of it out and just make it a lot more fuller than what it is it's still pretty wet right now so i'm not going to really do a lot of disturbing on my curls until it is fully and completely dry so i hope you guys enjoy watching me do this one product styling wash and go if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe check out my amazon store the link is down below it's just Janine and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys